grab some popcorn and get comfortable because this TV show is kicking in that queer closet door. Here's a riddle. I am inherently worthless, but highly prized. I will empty out your bank account. I'm all about love, but I have a heart of stone and have been known to prefer to be owned. Well, it's good. Conversations with friends could definitely change the way people view bisexuality. I missed you. Me too. I want to kiss you. <laughs> I'd like that. The show follows Frances and self-assured Bobby, two college students, ex-girlfriends and now best friends. Together they forge a strange and unexpected relationship with a married couple. That was really great. Thanks. It was very sweet, but ruthless. Oh, that's Frances. She's the writer. I'm Bobby. I'm like her muse. Well, I want a muse. I don't operate exclusively. With Frances out as bisexual and Bobby out as a lesbian, both characters bypass any notion of coming out story. We were fucking back then too, but we don't do that anymore. We <laughs> dropped the fucking, but kept the poetry. And they immediately move forward to a more mature approach of sexuality. I didn't know we were going through all this. Everyone's always going through something, aren't they? Just more and more stuff to go through. Sorry. You don't need to apologize. That's not to say that Francis and Bobby have everything figured it out. Actually, far from it. But that is probably my favorite thing about the show. Melissa showed me your story. I'm sorry. She belongs everywhere. She breaks things and treats people, men, with contempt. And whatever she wants, she can have. It's fiction. So why couldn't you show it to me then? What is wrong with you? kissing me and then writing this shit instead of communicating anything. Even now you can't. There is something naturally youngful about the way their story unfolds. I like how realistic it is. I felt the jealousy, the pain, the anger, the anxiety, the love and the excitement. And I think the writers did a great job by placing the center of the show in the female characters in a messy and authentic manner that I love so much. Hi, this is Bobby. Please leave a message. I tried you earlier. I wanted to say sorry and for that to mean something different this time. I keep thinking what my story must have looked like to you. That was about me trying to reach for something, a feeling, not an accurate description of you. When you broke up with me at school, I didn't understand why it was over. We deconstruct everything, but we have never talked about why we couldn't be together. I love how there is no Francis without Bobby, exposing every aspect of loving, falling, renewing, understanding, and welcoming love in friendship. I've always thought that maybe I wasn't capable of love, that I was too selfish, or that there was something wrong with me somehow. That isn't true. I know that I've hurt you, Bobby, but I love you, and I always have. On the other hand, Bobby presents a different perspective of this equation. I can do that. Do you need help with the rest? I think so, yeah. Why does that upset you? I don't know. I've seen you naked a million times before. <laughs> Her relationship with Frances is full of tender moments and devotion. I knew I could be so nurturing. I did. Did you? This series follows her journey as a college student, unsure if she wants to go back to her ex-girlfriend and best friend Bobby, or if she wants to continue her love affair with this older married actor. What happened? I did it after he left. It bled a lot. I freaked myself out. I'm not gonna do it again. 
coming of age stories featuring young women have always been so rare, especially those that include sapphic relationships. However, there is nothing particularly new to this story, except for the inclusion of a sapphic relationship. So what happens now? I'm gonna go home. Then what? Library? <laughs> Come on. I don't want to move back in. I don't want that either. Okay. What do you want? People can love more than one person at a time, and those relationships and stories need to be told. But what the fuck was that ending? I guess the show needed a shocking end so the writers could write season two. I, I don't want it to be the way it was. I mean, we were behaving like a married couple. People think in couples. We have to work really hard to resist it. I do want us to be committed to each other. Sounds good. The show is called Conversations with Friends and is currently streaming on Hulu. I hope you enjoyed today's video and thank you so much for watching.